Hi, I'm Aaron Blavey, and I'm the guy who makes the Pig the Pug books. And I'm here today to talk a little bit about uh, how I do what I do and why I do what I do. Because we moved around a lot when I was uh, really young, all the way through um, elementary school into what into middle school, um, I don't really recall school too much, like in terms of school work and, and projects and things, it's all a little bit of a blur. Uh, my main memories were when I started high school actually, and I remember year seven, which is in Australia, that's the beginning of high school, beginning of junior high. Year seven um, was a profound year for me because for the first year I was in the one place and I started writing. Um, and I remember writing stories for a particular teacher and he laughed at them, he thought they were funny. And that was enormously um, confidence building for me. So I was always the new kid at school as well as having no siblings. So I spent a gigantic amount of time in my childhood in my own head and making up things. And I spent a lot of time reading, uh, especially Tintin books, which were, uh, I don't think ever quite as popular in the US as they were in Australia and the UK. Um, but I was obsessed with those. Pick the Puck uh, was inspired by a few things. When I was uh, a kid, my parents used to have a, a pug and a, and a sausage dog, a wiener dog, but they were quite nice. The pug was especially quite nice, so it wasn't a mean little dog like piggies. Uh, I decided to take those animals, I'm not sure why, but I decided to take those animals and create a character who is sort of based on all the, all the worst things about people, about, and so Pig was inspired by uh, part of him is me, part of him is people that I've met, and part of him is just uh, all the, the sort of the not so great stuff that people do. And I thought it would be fun to do a character in a kid's book who in many ways shows kids how not to behave. When I make books, I do the words and the pictures. Uh, when I write it, the pictures, I guess, are playing in my head like a little movie. Uh, when I write a book like Pig, because it's in verse, I walk when I write. Uh, I write on my phone, which isn't very romantic, but it, it, it works and I, I walk. I think there's something about walking it just sort of puts me inside the rhythm of the verse. So I do that and then once I have all the verses, the, 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 they're normally a little too long, I have to cut them back. And then the pictures in my head, I do really scribbly drawings and I sort of put them with the words until I find a combination that makes me laugh. And then once I do that, I put it together in a rough version of the book, show it to my editor, we do a little tinkering and then I do the finished paintings. Well, after kids finish reading a, a book about pig, my hope, my first hope is always the, the next thing they do is read it again or say to their parents, can I hear that again? Um, I try to get kids to associate books with fun. Um, that's kind of the game for me. That's what I, that's why I do this. If a lesson is learned in the process, fantastic. Uh, but what is more important to me is getting kids reading. So thank you for listening to me today, everybody. Um, I hope that was a little bit interesting and uh, I hope you all continue to uh, find the pig books fun to read and uh, I hope you all just keep reading.